Hello friends, and welcome back to Let's Play Colonization! Let's see, I load this rum onto this wagon train. You know, I don't think we really need that much rum. I'm gonna move this guy over to the carpenter shop so that we can build a little bit faster. As the point here is not really to make money grab uh, by selling rum. The point is more to build things. So I am going to move the ore miner over to the carpenter shop. All right, our pioneers are moving over to the west. Everything moves to the west. And here is our chance to finally strike against the evil. Spanish. So we are carrying 100 tons of tools, and that actually affects us in the battle. But this caravel is carrying twice as much stuff, and you can see their, their modifier in the battle, minus 25%, plus the privateer is much better at battle than the caravel is to begin with. So, we have a huge advantage. I don't know if I really want furs and sugar. I guess I'll take the furs. Don't really want them, but what are you gonna do? Move that gold over to our colony. Now, yeah, let's see. Price of rum rose. Alright, coats fell. Ah. Ooh. A lost civilization. Excellent. Some good money. And now our privateer has to actually do something with these items. I could sell the tools, but I'd rather use them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I'm gonna wait for that scout. I don't want that treasure walking around without an escort. Those Indians will attack if they think they have a chance. One, two, three. There we go. Wait. Still not enough horses. For this, for this soldier to to rehorse himself. One, two, three. I think I know where I'm going to settle. I'll, I'll settle right here because there are two mountains, three lumber spots, and three spots for food or a cash crop, plus ocean access. That's pretty good. One, and I'm gonna leave. I'm just gonna sit right there. I'm not gonna even get close to that Indian. I just know he's got treasure on his mind. Treasure in his little American mind. And Roanoke can't hold any more lumber, because we are cutting wood faster than we are using it. Makes sense, right? Doesn't mean I'm gonna stop cutting lumber, but... I could. It would be more efficient for a little while. One, two, three. Put that there. One, two, three. All right. I should have waited for the treasure. Alright, skip those turns, move this pioneer. Alright, let's talk to this guy. These guys train sugar planters, and they want rum, cloth, and cigars. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh wow, that's a huge gift. So the Arwak can give us quite a lot of money. One, two, three. All right, so the tools and the furs. Furs will spoil. Oh, those poor furs. Unload them anyway. I don't want to store tools in the warehouse because the king might get wind of it, and then we'd be throwing a hundred tons of tools into the bay for absolutely no reason. I'd rather just have the tools. Oops, I can't do that. All right. Get the rum and the coats. Put the rum and the coats. Move the tools into the wagon train. Put the rum and the coats into the privateer. And I will sail over there and do the trade thing. One, two, three. Right. Limit has a stable. And some furs have been thrown away. Boo hoo hoo. I can't sell furs anyway. They're on him. They're they're under boycott. So I think. We have two guys at this at this uh, carpenter shop, but if we built a lumber mill, we could double the amount of production we are getting right now, and use twice as much lumber. But you see here, this this is an expert lumberjack, and he's 
he's got a lot of wood to work with. We might actually be using more wood when they're producing right now because we've got only 85 tons of lumber left, but I will build a lumber mill. Get that out of my way. Lumber mill. I want it. <laughs> All right. So these guys gave us a pile of gold. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh, I should have waited for the treasure. I keep doing that. Still not enough horses. All right, no, no news there. All right. All right. Well, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to have this, this pioneer investigate the lost city rumor. He could, but he probably won't do as good as if a scout actually grabs it. Do I not have a? Oh yeah, my scout is escorting treasure. I was wondering where my scout went. You know where my scout went? He went to escort some treasure. I'll go to London. One, two, three. And now there's a stable in Roanoke. So now horses will be faster in Roanoke. Well, let's build a warehouse there. That's a that's a good basic thing every town needs is a warehouse. That will double our our uh, carry our storage capacity to 200 tons. There it is. Warehouse. Alright, make landfall there. One, two, three. Oh, I don't like those the look of those Frenchmen at all. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Stay away from my treasure. One, two, three. I'm just gonna move those soldiers out there to give give the French the, the idea. Treasure not up for grabs. Right. And we're in London now. With some goodies to sell. We have some coats. 35 gold. That's good. And 546 gold worth of rum. That is some good money right there. So we have over 2,000 gold again. So I could buy another privateer. But I think what I'm going to do this time is wait until I have 3,000 gold, so I can buy a galleon. Galleons move a, um, average distance every turn, but what they have is six holds of cargo, and they are the only ships that can transport treasure, which is the only reason why I want to buy one. They can also carry six emigrants, or six units. They can do that. Alright, so, I want to move this fisherman to the front of the dock, because this is a very useful unit. And I also want to move this carpenter to the front of the dock. Two very important units. I could buy trade goods, but eh, I don't want to do that right now. I'd rather get the units going. So, sail for the new world. Alright. Cool. Gotta visit these Arawaks. Oh wow, they murdered my scout. <laughs> tie a, tie you up for target practice. <sighs> well, good thing I have another scout waiting in Europe. That was costly. This is just not happening. I am not giving the crown my treasure. I'm sorry. It's not. It's not acceptable. So now that this caravel doesn't have anything to do, I'll. I'll just take him back to England, go get another scout. I hate to see a scout die like that, but what am I going to do? And I'm going to go to Plymouth with this soldier. Our only so we only have one soldier. It's pretty sad, really. We have tools here. I don't really have much to do with this wagon train right now. You know what? Rather than deal with his wagon train every turn, I'll fortify it. For now. If I actually want to trade or something, I know where it is. Price of rum fell. Cloth rose. Coat spell. Nothing but rumors. Alright. And still not enough horses. 
Penobscot? Penobscot? I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly. Anyway, it's our new colony. And we can begin a stockpile of lumber. Probably a warehouse, eventually. The Toopy are giving us coats. That's nice of them. All right, so let's see. I need another scout. Move to the front of the dock. And I'm going to buy some trade goods. I think I could do pretty well with trade goods right now. Set sail. Put the scout on the trade goods. Excellent. And Plymouth has reached as much lumber as it can. See, these two guys are using wood as fast as they can, and we're still overflowing with lumber. Because, you know, because this guy is getting 10 lumber per turn, and these guys are using a grand total of... They're, they're making only 6 hammers, so that's 6 wood used per turn, 10 gold produced per turn. Get back over here, I didn't tell you to do that. This blacksmith tried to sneak off to the blacksmith's house. I'm keeping him prisoner here in the carpenter's shop. He can't go make tools. There's no ore. Alright. So, one, two, three, turn. Ooh, look at that. We have a, a fat French caravel right here. So what I'm going to do, one, two, I'm going to dump these guys here. Attack that caravel. 100 sugar, 100 horses. Excellent. And the Arawaks have attacked San Salvador. Yeah, I can see why. <laughs> Those rascally Spanish. Always murdering Americans. Alright, so now the scouts will talk of these two be. And they generate scouts, and they need rum, horses, and cigars. Thanks for the beads. Cool. And there are now 50 tons of horses. But if I give this soldier 50 tons of horses, there will be no horses left to breed. So, I'm going to wait a little bit longer. One, two. Oh, well, we got 50. We got 100 tons of horses from, from the French. So, I can finally arm this guy again. And now we have 100 tons of horses. And too much sugar. Some of, the su some of the sugar will spoil. Well, too bad. I'm not carrying sugar around. That's not happening. All right. And we have a fisherman now to take over from this guy. Here, move. Look at all that fish that guy's producing. A whole mess of fish coming out of that, uh, that water. And that's a lot of extra food that can... That, that goes to, to good use in the colony. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make this... Oops. Put these tools over here. I'm going to make this guy a pioneer with the tools. And he's going to clear some of this forest so that we can actually gain ore in Plymouth. Because we don't have any ore there. It's kind of disturbing. Oh, and our carpenter. Yes, very useful. Our carpenter does as much work as these two guys can at the carpenter shop. So we put them right here. Look at all those hammers. That means faster building. And since this guy... I have an ore miner here. I don't think I can get ore from the rain... Oh, look at that! I can get ore from the rainforest without it even being cleared. And then I can put this blacksmith over here at the blacksmith's house where he really wants to be. And he'll make tools, so we can make tools now. This is a fully functioning city at this point. We've got food, wood, a carpenter, or a blacksmith. That's all it takes. We can build anything now, within certain limits. A lot of this stuff we don't really need. We're not going to need a tobacconist shop here. There's no reason to do that. You could build it just, just if you want it to look pretty, but it's all, there's other stuff to build. So, we're going to have tools now. 
I'm going to load these coats into the wagon train so the king doesn't get ideas. And all these horses are going to go into the ocean soon enough, but for now we have horses here. And the privateer is free. All right. Fortify the wagon train again. Ooh, someone just attacked the Indians. I didn't see it because the animations are so fast. Threw away some sugar. All right, that's fine. Oh, where did the where did our guy our guy died right here? All right, so I'll just go somewhere else. One, two, three, four. And these guys gave us some beads, as I recall. So I'll just go this way. Nothing but rumors over here. All right. Now we're back to our privateer. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I always like to look around for the enemy. See if there's some enemy ships. Enemy ships, excuse me. <clears throat> Foreign ships. Sailing around with cargo, of course. I'm not going to attack a ship without cargo. That's that's not wise. For one thing, they have a much better chance of resisting if there's no cargo. For another chance, I could just get my, my privateer damaged that way. All right, so, Dragoons. I don't really have anything to do with these Dragoons, so I'm just going to sort of put them somewhere. All right, Endangered Servant. Plow that forest. Get rid of the rainforest here. One, two, hmm. And we'll dump this scout right here. Ooh, it's the Cherokee. Thank you. I will soon visit Cherokee villagers. I will do just that. Next time on Let's Play Colonization... Oh, look, the French have infested Florida. Next time, we will trade with the Cherokee. Sure, why not? And begin exploring North America. That should be good. See you then.